Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time, you see, I have two pictures up. And the reason I've done that is because... I'm going to do a painting of this in there. <laughs> Using the old digital tools. I like to keep my hand in the game. Digital painting, because uh, it's useful to not only design paintings, which is what I use it for quite a lot, actually. The designing of the paintings. But it's also useful, I might just use one brush. Shall I just use that brush? No. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to use that one. Uh, what about this? Yeah, I might use this one. I should use this one today. Doesn't really matter, you know. Right, let's make sure. Yes. <laughs> so, all I've got in tools wise is my brushes there and this here. And, uh, and that's it. <laughs> And then a brush, because <laughs> I'm quite a simple person. I uh, don't usually have any tools. I just have paints, so it doesn't really bother me what you've got, what you use. Don't bother me whatsoever. So I'll just fill in this background. Just painting it in. Some dark bits, but I'm not too worried about that. And then I'll uh, put some of this trees. I might paint this one as well, actually. I quite like it. I want to paint something like it anyway. We just get the idea of it on this on this sketch. It's a bit of practice. A bit of practice for me. And um, I, I've had quite a long day at work, and. Uh, just to keep my daily practice going, I was thinking to myself, you know what I might do? I might just do a bit of a digital painting and have a bit of fun with that. So yeah, this brush is pressure sensitive, so you can do light and then press harder and it goes a bit deeper color. It's quite good, isn't it? So they're always trying to make it look like paint always they do quite well actually I'm, I'm quite I quite like uh, quite like it it's never the same never is the same painting a different it's kind of a different animal isn't it to uh, digital paint and if you've tried both or if you haven't tried digital then uh, you give it a go it's just fun. And if you want to work professionally, they all use digital tools these days, so... Not everybody, you know, but most people. From what I've seen, anyway. From what I've seen. Although I know. <laughs> it's all guesswork. <laughs> Bit of a different colour. Change it, change some of the colours a bit. Don't want it all the same, do we? Want a bit of, bit of dimension. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's funny what your eye goes for, isn't it? When you when you're uh, painting, like with this, I straight away go, shim to the light point, and then. I go, oh, that's quite nice there, that bit of greeny yellow. Oh, that's quite nice there, these little highlights. Ooh. And look at that tree, it's got a sort of a blue look to it. <laughs> so, I'm going to put some dark along here. Dark, 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 dark. Da -da 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 -da
give that a bit of a wave. There we go. So this light, I'm going to put in last. I'm just going to put a dot in now, just to, uh, that's where it's going to be. Wow, why isn't that bright? <laughs> Oh, that's unusual. That. Even though I think that looks lighter than that. It's the same. Ooh. And do you know what's uh, causing that illusion of this being lighter than this? So I, you'd think this is the same as this? I wouldn't. <laughs> no, none of us do. We all think that's lighter, but it's because of the dark around it. It's a uh, bit of an illusion there. Interesting. What's that colour? Why have I picked that one? Yeah, so just to remind ourselves of that, we'll put some dark around this so we can uh, cap capture it. Some dark. Yeah, so now I'm going to do. This is almost like painting with a sponge. <laughs> I don't know how I know that because I've never really painted with sponges. I've always thought it'd be fun to do, but I've never done it. Or have I? I can't remember. Maybe I have. Maybe at one point in my life I thought, I'm going to paint with a sponge. It's the way forward. Everybody's doing it these days. Why not me? <laughs> right, so that's quite a good backgroundy sort of thing. Now I'm going to put some of these trees in. Fuck what. Make another layer. That can be our background layer. And da -da 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 -da. make it a bit smaller. I use uh, the bracket keys to shrink and make my bigger. There is a, a better way that I used to use, but for some reason my pen won't do it anymore. I used to hold, I think it was the left button, alt, and, and then I'd move my cursor. And it used to be brilliant. Oh, this brush, this brush isn't good for this. I need a different one. Let's go with a gouache brush. Gouache smooth. What's that like? Whoops. Go away. So let's uh, go with this. Smooth. Gouache smooth. Let's see. Yeah, it's not quite right. A bit too wide. Yeah, that's not bad. Whoops. So we go that one side, and then this the other side, a darker colour. On the other side of the tree. back. Go a bit bigger. Wink. Let's go for one there. Actually I might put all the darks in first. Let's do a few. 
think I want uh, another one there. Smaller there. Smaller there. Smaller. 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 <laughs> oh yes. Get a load of trees in now. Whoops. How's that happened? Don't know what that's on, like a grid or something. Ruler? No. There we go, it was on the extras. Oh, I quite like the ruler. I better put that on again because I'll, uh, I'll forget and I use it for when I'm doing books. Good for uh, designing your your book, so you can see, you know, how far your image is in the page. That's what I use it for, anyway. Smaller. Smaller, smaller, bigger. Right. <laughs> <coughs> I tell you what's interesting: the uh, <coughs> the lights coming through the middle, but the secondary light source is coming this way in each tree on one side. That's intriguing. Because if I was going to design this, I would think the light that comes from the middle would hit the trees this side and then it would come this way and hit the trees that side. So the light would be there and there on the way out. But that does not seem to be the case. And some of these trees haven't got highlights on as well. It just seems to be the foregroundy ones. Anyway, we'll put some on. Zoom in a bit. I'll zoom out again. <laughs> I might make this bigger for while I do this. So if you use the uh, the square like that and then go zoom, it stays in your box. Otherwise, if you just click on it, it starts getting really big and then it's a nightmare. <laughs> oh, I've done that again. Go away extras. I think it's because I'm at the top of the page. I'm pulling that down, I think. I'm not sure about this brush. It's not quite giving me the effect that I want, so I'm going to go with another brush. I'm going to go with this brush. And I can, then it'll go. It's just a little bit better. I don't really like that blue colour either. Might work all right on the outside of the. Yeah, this is better. Get a bit more uh, better effect, I think. So 
go up and down these. We can always bring some blue into it afterwards, secondarily. Some of these trees I'm not going to put any highlight on. Some of them I will. I might go a tiny bit lighter as well on some. That's probably a lot too light, but let's see anyway. Let's have a look. That's not too bad actually. Being a, another pressure sensitive one. Let's put some of this uh, blue on. It's interesting, is that? Sounds like it's raining outside now. Hints of blue. And then probably what we want as well is another, like the foreground ones, the bigger trees like this one. Probably needs a bit of dark on one side. these yellowy bits behind as well. Oh, I've got everything in one layer. <laughs> oh, I should have taken some of this off the layer, never mind. Just gonna uh, put a little bit of this colour in amongst there. Change, change the flavour a little bit here and there. Go back to this again, go back to being a bit smaller. So I, uh, I couldn't remember what the button was for that, so <laughs> <laughs> so I used um, <coughs> control and the minus. Control and minus brings it to the way we want it, and uh, the other way. Um, I can't remember what I was saying now. Oh yeah, control and minus for zoom out, control and plus for zoom in. I heard something in my fish tank, I was like, oh, what's going on in there? Get all sidetracked. Just blocking in this, uh, in here. Send some of these trees further back, you see. Put the ferns in there. So we're just we're just sketching away, just sketching. So there's another uh, little thing that I've noticed. 
with these dots on the side of the trees. I might put a really big tree in. Put him on another layer. I want to put a big tree right here. creating a clipping mask and that way it only paints on the tree It's all gone with uh, three, three colours there, <laughs> and then I'm going to go for a darker, for the very edge, on the edge, yes, there we go. And then what I could do, I'm just going to bring that in. So some of it isn't as uh, dark. Now I'm going to put in some of these dots. Back to another brush. I believe that brush. Shrink it. Oh, I'm still on the. Uh, <laughs> I'm still on the. Uh, on the layer. Clipping mask layer, which I don't want to be on that. Put a few of these here and there. So use your imagination. If you've got a, a picture, you can use your picture like I'm, I'm using. But I always, um, always think of. Uh, I do use my imagination, even though I'm looking at this. Um, I didn't look much there because <laughs> I use my imagination a lot now. Uh, when you've, uh, after a bit of time. If you've spent a bit of time in the woods or something like that, and you've been painting, you start to uh, see patterns. I think it's from because uh, you have to paint quite quick when you're out plain air painting. I find you have to you have to really get get in there quick, and I think from doing that, it speeds you up um, in normal painting because you, you're already training yourself to like go oh god I better, better uh, get this done quick because the light's gonna go so I think it, it speeds you up in normal painting as well because you start having that that panic <laughs> it is like a panic actually let's have some we're gonna have light all the way along there that's quite nice. Should put some of this light in, see how it looks. So I want a different brush actually. Go with that, a round brush. It's going to be there, there. Got that dark there, haven't we? So I might put it there. I'm 
Now we get some of these uh probably gonna have to go over this again now. Not too bad. I'm wondering if I could get a bit of this red. What if I went like that and then had that on top of it? Don't think I like those uh, lines now. These things. <laughs> I need to go back all the way, get rid of them lines. So what I'm going to go with is ni a nice sort of reddish glow. And I'll do it on a separate layer as well. Do it on a separate layer so I've got a bit more control over it. go to a yellow to the bright yeah I like that better than the original one um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to use a bit of that in the sky as well So we can go hmm. I'll we'll just leave it there. You can use this to like paint areas out that you don't want as well. You can start putting in lots of detail and things. Something I like doing sometimes is uh, going into to like a hue saturation and have a look to see how it looks if you push the. Uh, saturation a bit or just change the colour to see what see how it looks. Sometimes it's slightly off what you've done looks better. <laughs> I find that sometimes. I actually quite like what I've got there. I might boost the uh, saturation a little bit. Yeah, so it's a bit of a sketch practice on uh, lighting. Uh, I think probably there is, well, there's no doubt that there's more on the trees. There's more, oops, I end up with pink. <laughs> The 
trees, I think there's definitely more you can do. The good thing is you can play with... Um, oh, I'm putting that on the wrong side. It's that automatic thing you see, I always think it should be that side. Some, there is something I want to do actually. I don't want that to be too blue. Actually, we can change things the way we want. <laughs> like, uh, I think it'd be pretty good to have some really dark. Because I saw this when I was out in the strips painting. When I was out painting, I, I'd see like levels. Levels of. Uh, oops. I think we need a, uh, a new layer. I would see levels where you'd get. Get areas that were darker, areas that were lighter, areas that weren't getting any colour at all, just darkness, like that. And then that gives us another layer, doesn't it? So we go here, then down here. I think they need some more, a bit more like textured things, a bit more specific strokes really. Something like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Move that out of the way. Just go with this one now. Thinking about what you could do, uh, maybe uh, maybe some more branches and things, so you can go over some of these areas. Go over the top of some of them, them trees. I do like the uh, the colours though. It's somewhat a bit different, and I can uh, I can also <laughs> do what I oh, what I saw. Branches everywhere. Branches everywhere. Honestly. You see them everywhere, stuck out everywhere, all over the place. Yeah, there's even one on the floor. <laughs> Can even get a dark one. So there we go, there's our uh, little uh, digital sketch, a little bit of fun, um, got some layer in there now. I think that darkness, because that's what I see when I'm uh, sat in the trees, <laughs> and I did, I've done it a few times, just sitting amongst the trees with my tablet and sketched, or with my paints and just sketched, and uh, it really is uh, fun, and you do see so much more that you don't realise. Anyway, there we go. Here's my uh, sketch.
quite happy with that. I think I will do a, a gouache painting or yeah, probably a gouache painting. See if I can get that light effect. Be good to see if I could do that and uh, see what happens. Anyway, thanks very much for watching today's episode and I'll see you in another one. Cheers, bye.